Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to create an animated banner for your Google Classroom to help it look a little less boring. Most of us are using Google Classroom right now because it's pretty easy to share out assignments and content to our students, but the actual Google Classroom platform is kind of plain and pretty boring. Unfortunately, Google Classroom doesn't really allow a lot of customization, but there are a couple things that you can do to make your Google Classroom look a little more student friendly. We probably all already know that we can change the banner at the top of our Google Classroom, but today I'm gonna to show you how to take it up a notch and create an animated banner for it. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Blanca from teachertechfiles.com and I'm a learning strategist from Las Vegas. And on this channel, we talk about two things, how to make technology easier for teachers and how to be successful on Teachers Pay Teachers. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in, make sure that you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. There are several ways that we can achieve this, but today I'm gonna to show you how to make it using Canva. The biggest reason we're using Canva is because it's free and available to anyone. The free account is still really powerful, but I suggest you try and get the education account. The education account is still free, but you just have to qualify for it by proving that you're a teacher. It gives you more features than the free one, and to me it's kind of like having the pro account because I haven't run into any limitations besides not having the media kit. If you're not familiar with Canva, it's a really cool website that kind of makes you like a graphic designer by helping you make all these professional looking graphics in a really easy way. The first thing we wanna do is go to canva.com and type in at the top in the search bar, animated social media. Canva is going to give us some templates, but we're gonna make our own. So go ahead and click on the blank plus sign and we're gonna create a blank one. It will default to a square, but we need to change that so that it fits the banner size. And so to do that, you're gonna click on resize at the top, change it to inches, and we're gonna type in 16 by four and press resize. Canva automatically knows that we're trying to create a banner, so it's going to give us some suggestions on the side. For this tutorial, I'm gonna pick one of these pre-made ones, but you can feel free to mess around with it as much as you'd like. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the one that I'm thinking of, and then we're gonna edit from there. The animated banner works just like those old school stop motion videos. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a copy of each slide, but in each slide, we're gonna change something just a little bit. And so what you'll see is I'm gonna go ahead and make that shark go from left to right. And I think I'll make those fish move from left to right as well. Everything else we're gonna pretty much leave the same just for the sake of this example, but you can feel free to adjust it as much as you'd like. What we need to do is make a copy of the slide at the top and make our first changes. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that shark and use my arrow keys to move it over just a few slots. And I'll do the same thing with the fish. Now I'll make another copy of the slide and do that again. To make the process a little bit faster, I'm gonna go ahead and speed up the video, but all you're gonna do is select the images that you want to be moving, and then with your keyboard, move them over a little bit, make a copy, and then do that again. You probably wanna do that about six to 10 times or until your animals have reached the destination that you want them to reach. What you'll notice is I'm starting to move my character slightly off screen so that they can look like they're leaving the page. So to check how it looks, what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the timer at the top, but we wanna make sure that the timer is changed for all the slides. So it's kind of tricky, but you just wanna go down and make sure that all of them are set to 0.2. So that first one is 0.2, go down and that one's 0.1. So I'm gonna go ahead and change that. Press done, see that next one is changed, so I'm gonna go ahead and go to 0.2. Keep scrolling. Now that all the slides are set to 0.2 seconds, we should be able to test it out by clicking the play button at the top, and it'll show us what the banner will look like. So let's go ahead and try it out now. I'm pretty happy with that for now, so we're gonna go ahead and save this as a GIF, or GIF, however you say it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on download and select all the way at the bottom, GIF, and then download. Once it's done downloading, you can go ahead and preview it again, but just make sure it's saved somewhere where you can find it so that we can upload it to Google Classroom. To upload it to Google Classroom, it's pretty simple. You do it the same way that you do all the other banners. So you're gonna go to Google Classroom, and this is my test class here. So all you're gonna do is where the banner is, click on upload photo and find that GIF that we just created. So I think mine is saved to my downloads. There it is. 
You'll want to resize this so that it fits the entire banner now. So go ahead and drag those little squares all the way to the edges, just like that. And then click on select class theme. And there it is. That's our animated banner. It looks a lot better than just the plain picture, doesn't it? Since you stuck around this far, I'm going to give you one more tip on how to customize the font in your classwork tab. Normally when we add a topic, the text looks pretty plain and boring like this one up here. So I'm gonna show you how you can change it to look something like these options down here at the bottom. And that's pretty easy. All you have to do is go to coolfont.org. Now we're gonna type in what we want our topic to say. So let's just say that it is science. And now you can choose any of these fonts. I like this black square font down here at the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and just copy it. Then I go back to our Google Classroom and click on the three little dots, select rename, and then just paste it and then click rename. And there it is. You can also add emojis in here. So on the top right, you can select emoji keyboard online, find the emoji that you want and copy and paste it. So I'm gonna go to search and type in science. So I don't know, maybe I like this light bulb here. So as soon as you select it, it automatically copies it for you. You can go back to Google Classroom and click rename and then just paste that emoji wherever you want it. And now the emoji is part of your Google Classroom. And that's it. Now your Google Classroom doesn't look so boring. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And now I have a little bit of a choose your own adventure. If you'd like to learn more about teacher tech tips, click on the videos on the left to view that playlist. And if you wanna learn more about Teachers Pay Teachers, click on the videos on the right to see those videos. Thank you again for watching and don't forget to sign up for my freebie vault. It's where I put any and all freebies that I give away either on Teachers Pay Teachers or on YouTube. The link to that will be below. I'll see you over in my other videos.